we're going to look at the last of the three major subjects of fluid dynamics. And that's going to be actually moving fluids from one place to another. And we're going to look at the equation that governs this, and this is called Bernoulli's equation. I'm not going to look at the derivation for it, we're just going to go ahead and give it to you. But it is a very powerful equation and has a lot of very good uses for it. So the equation is, is that we have three terms, P plus one half rho V squared plus one half or plus rho GY, and that's going to give us a constant. Well, these three terms in here all are related to different things. So the first term, this P, is a static pressure term. If we were to put a gauge on there, this would be what the gauge would read. There is the second term, which is a kinetic energy related term. It's got a one-half rho v squared. This looks like one-half mv squared. We're dealing with pressure, so it's actually rho. And the third term looks like a potential energy term, and, and it is. It's got a rho gh, so instead of mgh, it's a rho gh, where h is your height. Like we dealt with with conservation of energy, conservation of momentum, when we see something that has a constant, it means that it works for every point along a path. Or that we look at this, we go, okay, if we know its initial conditions, we know, we know then that it has to have a similar side on the other side, a similar set of three values um, for final state. So a lot of times you see initial pressure, initial velocity, initial height over here, and then you'll see final pressure, final velocity, final height terms over there. Well, let's see how we use this equation. So let's say we start off with some, vo uh, some fluid. It's sitting at some height above our ground, and this, this term is a conservation of energy uh, derived uh, value. So we're going to look at its height above the ground to begin with, and we're going to let this fluid flow. So it's going to have some static pressure, P1, it's going to have some initial velocity, and it's going to have some initial height. We let it flow through a pipe, through an artery, through a vein, uh, through a smokestack, whatever we let it flow through, it's going to come out the other end. It's going to change volume a little bit. For that same volume we'll go in, we'll have a different shape. It'll be the same volume, but um, it'll come out the other end. It's going to have a different final height, a different final static pressure, and different final velocity. So when we relate these, we get P1, 1 half rho v1 squared plus 1 half rho g y1 equals the same thing but for the final version of this, substituting all the twos. In. So it's just kind of a simple example. You have to read these problems carefully to figure out which ones are, are using it. And we're going to go over in the next video um, kind of a fun medical example of uh, using Bernoulli's equation and how it can be related to fluid flows in the body.